this object could have caused serious damage to NASA Perseverance rover if it had struck the vehicle directly after passing through the Martian atmosphere. of this object is not what it could damage, but what it physically records about its journey through a very different atmospheric environment. The object was observed on the Martian surface by NASA Perseverance rover using MastCam Z imaging and SuperCam remote instruments. These parent bodies were once large enough to melt internally, allowing heavy metals to sink inward and create metallic cores. Later collisions shattered those asteroids, exposing core material and ejecting dense fragments into space. Before encountering Mars, this object likely exceeded 500 kilograms in mass, For a long time, the meteoroid traveled silently through vacuum, cold and structurally intact. Nothing about its shape or surface changed during this phase. Situation inverted instantly when its orbit intersected Mars. Typical entry speeds for such objects are greater than 10 kilometers per second. At that velocity, even Mars' thin atmosphere becomes physically aggressive. As soon as the object encountered atmospheric gas, the dominant process was compression. molecules ahead of the meteoroid were squeezed so rapidly that their temperature rose to extreme levels. This compressed, heated gas transferred energy directly to the surface of the object. An important detail is that the object was not made of metal alone. Like many asteroid fragments, it likely contained ice, either as water ice frozen into fractures during long exposure in space, or as hydrated material incorporated early in its history.
when heating began, that ice reacted immediately. Ice near the surface sublimated almost at once, while ice deeper inside rapidly turned into vapor. The metallic structure constrained expansion, so instead of exploding, the body simply lost ice early in the descent. Every bit of molten or vaporized metal carried heat away, but it also removed mass continuously. Even though Mars' atmosphere is much thinner than Earth, the object spent enough time under intense heating for ablation to remove most of its material. across the surface, smoothing sharp features. You can see it on the screen. This was not coincidence or randomness. By this point, the original multi-hundred kilogram meteorite had been reduced to a compact metallic object about eight centimeters across with a mass of only a few kilograms. Lower Martian atmosphere does not slow small objects very effectively, so the metallic remnant continued toward the surface at high speed. When it arrived, there was no fireball and no blast wave. At hypersonic speed, collisions with countless dust grains would add extra surface erosion. The combined effect would be faster mass loss earlier in the descent. What makes this object scientifically important is that it represents a clean outcome of known physical laws operating under Martian conditions. Mars did not destroy the meteorite outright. It reshaped it step by step into a small sphere that quietly records the entire process in its surface and structure.